Hello, welcome. This is Sports This Morning. We're broadcasting live from Channels TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. I'm Austin Okonakman. Good morning and welcome. I'm Cecilia Amogbe. It's great to have you join us again. I'm Taya Salah. Okay, let's get the show started now. And we will begin with the Super Eagles of Nigeria opening camp today in Uyo, Akwaibom State, for the AFCON qualifying game against Tanzania. Well, you know the story. Egypt has already picked the sole ticket from Group B. So Nigeria and Tanzania, they're just playing for pride. It's going to be all for pride. And another athlete that will be aiming for that, not a dead rubber kind of stuff. I'm talking about competing for medals. The Paralympics as a federation have actually released 23 athletes that will represent Nigeria at the Rio Paralympics Games. Wow, yeah. Uh, we're looking forward to Team Nigeria doing really well um, at the Games, which starts on September uh, the 7th. Also on the show, uh, this time around, we're going to tennis. After eight months of trading for an forehands and backhands, the final Grand Slam event of the season is here. I mean, uh, the likes of uh, Novak Djokovic, uh, Serena Williams, uh, Rafael Nadal uh, will all be in action. Mm. And... Um, Austin, I don't know where you're going to put your money. I know. But as it is right now, it looks like these two guys are the favorites. Yeah. Novak in the men's singles, Serena in the women's singles. That's it seems that's... like that most times. Mm. But yes. At the end of the day, sometimes it just doesn't happen like that. I Especially know. last year's US Open. Okay. It was a mm. different game for Serena. For Serena, yeah. Yeah, another opportunity for Kai Nishikori oh, to oh, step no, up no. the game. Yeah, I'm serious. You don't go to the Olympics win bronze and you don't come back stronger. Um... Andy Murray, another opportunity also for yeah. him to say, look, I'm, I'm, I'm just tired of just chasing, get to the finals and then nothing is happening. Yeah, Novak, we all know when he wants to play tennis, he plays good tennis. For Serena Williams, she shouldn't just sit back, relax and do what she did in Rio because Gabi Muguruza will be coming out strong. Yes. Angelic Keba will be coming out strong also. So we're going to see some competitive tennis. Sure, those surely. Those players have actually defeated her. So mm -hmm. it's going to be like mm -hmm. very, very tough. And, um, you know, Serena is chasing, you know, she's, she's aiming for that record, that open era record of 23 hmm. uh, Grand Slam uh, majors. And uh, she starts against um, Ekaterina Makarova. That's not, that's not easy, <laughs> easy mm -hmm. opening round that's at all. all. I mean, you wonder how, what she's done to get that kind of very tough uh, draw. But like you said, uh, Austin and Cecilia, Serena, surely she has to be the favorite. That's right. And, um, but I have a bit of problem, though, because she has, she's suffering with a bit of a shoulder yeah. and an injury. That's what really affected uh, the games in, in Rio. Mm -hmm. And she missed the Cincinnati uh, Masters mm. as well so because of that injury. So I hope she's yeah. fully recovered. Uh, to give it a best uh, yeah. shot. So, according to the yeah. coach, according to the coach, she is because she he is, says uh, uh, she's actually playing without any pains right now. Mm. She's training without any pain. So it seems the pains are over mm. and I hope it doesn't come back when the US Open starts. Hopefully. But this hopefully. is a draw what it looks like. Yeah. Uh, someone that I don't really envy is actually Rafael Nadal. His <laughs> Dennis is told me I think that's a very, very tricky draw. I mean not, all, not Rafael Nadal alone. I mean, look at... Even Favrika yeah. going against um, Fernando Vadasco. Yeah, even Novak Djokovic taking on uh, Jesse Jaune. Hmm. That's a very, very tricky one. A lot yeah. of these guys are going to find yeah. it very, very, uh, you know, tricky in the first round. So they have to be on top of the game. They have to, like, hit the ground running. running. You know, if they don't want to... Um, you know, if they don't want an upset, you know, to be uh, beside their name in the, <laughs> in the world, opening round. Uh, yeah, on the first day of the of the U.S. Open, mm. uh, I'm looking at the likes of Jack Sock as well to the American Hope uh, playing against uh, Taylor Fritz. Uh, that's another one that's going to be very, very uh, tight and very, very uh, too close to call. Uh, but Jack Sock, uh, with his experience, expect um, he expect him to actually uh, come through in that particular one, Cecilia. Yeah, another person needs a main. We had uh, over the yeah. weekend. Andy Murray says he's not favorite for the U.S. Open. I was like, you're definitely, you definitely <laughs> are because Maybe. Jack, I mean, going to Rio, Wimbledon, and yeah. all back to back, so he's on fire right Cecilia, now. You can understand what he's doing. The U.S. Open features yeah. talked about a lot earlier. Uh, Karina Vosniaki, that's going to be a tricky one. Then Madison, Ke Madison Keys mm -hmm. and Alison Risk. That's another one. Then Rafael Nadal and Denis Tomey, of course. Yonis and Novak Djokovic, both of them will also be starting. The mm. opening game of the last Grand Slam of the year. Mm. Tough one. Yeah. I know. Rafael Nadal, then it's Nadal, no, Nadal showed. Yeah. I mean, Nadal showed g great character. I mean, this yeah. final, you know, mm -hmm. playing for a long time. He went to Rio, mm. got to the semis, he won the doubles. So it shows 
he's actually recovered from that wrist you know injury that you know slowed down his season um you know where where he had to miss um uh, wimbledon and um and the french open as well to where he had to pull out so yeah. it shows he's actually back and um so against dennis Istomin, i don't think that should be a problem for him i think he should have enough you know to go through yeah. uh, to the second round now that's i feel not that's a problem for me because nadal is that sort of player that he would just say oh tire cecilia i you want to talk i'll give you something to talk about it's coming <laughs> beat me <laughs> you know so it, it's possible <laughs> don't forget also what happened to um novak Djokovic in the third round yeah i mean at, at the french open you know yeah. so these things just happen with tennis so Wimbledon, for, yeah. for me let it let it happen the way it wants to happen we'll just come here and talk about it guys let's do this with speed talk about formula one now go to see nico rosberg winning again yeah, it's good to see him winning again. It feels like ages. I know. Um, because it, start, it started the season really on fire. Mm -hmm. And we thought, okay, this guy's just going to cruise, you yeah. know, through the championship for the first time in his career. But then, uh -huh. oh, of course, someone remember, has to react. Remember, I told you, you just need two, <laughs> yes. two crashes. Yes. <laughs> but, <laughs> oh, yes. well, seriously, credit where it's due. Mm -hmm. Lewis Hamilton yeah. you know, came back really strong. That's right. You know, he turned that 43 points uh, de deficit. It turned into a 19-point advantage. And uh, just when we thought, okay, Hamilton is just going to stroll to the title now. Mm. Bang, Rosberg returns again with a win. At Spa, uh, this one here wasn't too uh, wasn't too surprising at all because um, Rosberg started on pole. Uh, well, it was and, surprising for me. Yeah, I mean, for, for, yeah, for Rosberg though, I mean, okay. it wasn't surprising. All they had to do was avoid any uh, any accidents or any disaster, and it was pole to flag uh, for him. But for Lewis Hamilton, you know, fighting all the way back from 21st on the hmm. grid to finish third to finish on the podium champion that's stuff. just incredible champion that's champions stuff. quality I champions agree. mentality right, right there. there but then yeah. it's also an indictment on the other teams yeah on the yeah. other cars particularly well, ferrari <laughs> and fernando alonso come on I, I, I think i'm thinking maybe the crash of kevin magnuson actually gave him that opportunity because the race was halted for like about 16 minutes yeah. before the safety car came and all that because of that accident luckily you know he came out and hurt when i saw the car I was like what's going to happen to him only for me to actually see him coming out of the car and he was out of the vehicle and all yes. that so it was just apart from the minor injury maybe at that time how means he has to think of what to do because he knows if he finishes outside the top three, mm. I mean, the gap is gone. But right now, he's got about nine points lead, that's eight why, races to go. That's why you have to give him all the credit because it's still a brilliant, you know, uh, performance by him to come all the way from yeah. the back and finish third. Yeah. yeah. So you don't really take that credit away from for, him at all. Uh, for Hamilton and his team. And also, uh, Max Verstappen. I was looking forward to him, <laughs> you know, doing something, starting yeah, yeah, second, yeah. you know, on the grid and then come on. When you when it goes wrong with your engine in Formula One, that's just it. So let's just hope that in Monza, that's where we're going to next on Sunday, we'll yeah. just get to see uh, something extraordinary from another driver. Fernando Alonso loves it at the Italian Grand Prix. Mm -hmm. He didn't end it well um, yesterday. Let's see what's going if to come out of that. Yeah. Get something there. Yeah. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the way it is. From Formula One now to. Let's go to Paris, guys. You see that? What happened there? I know records were smashed, mm -hmm. but uh, Daphne Schippers, she had a disappointing experience in Rio, but she used the opportunity to bounce back in Paris, winning the, uh, the 200 meters women's event. Yeah, I'm not oh. surprised that she actually won. I mean, what got me talking is actually, I mean, uh, Ruth Jeppard. I mean, producing a stunning performance, smashing she the world record in right. the women's steeplechase. Mm. That's the one that actually got me talking on mm. Saturday oh. because I looked at this lady, I'm like, how did she do it? She's from Kenya originally, yeah. but right now she's representing Bahrain. Bahrain. It's, it's interesting to know that. Yes. That's, that's, that's the record. I mean, that's, that's what a we stunning have. Stunning performance. Incredible performance by, um, by Jeb, Jeb right there. Uh, like I said, Cecilia, she's running for Bahrain now. It's not a big deal. That's how uh, modern day sports Bahrain is right Bahrain now. Bahrain mm. Yeah, well, yeah, call it whatever. I mean, we have Americans running for Nigeria as well. So, but uh, the Americans that run for Nigeria are not the absolute um, best. Uh, definitely shippers and uh, skippers, like you said earlier, very disappointing yeah. at the real games. And, you know, after coming second behind Elaine Thompson, mm. and she was so disappointed. You could yeah, see it. I yeah, mean, yeah. she was just like, I mean, I prepared. Yeah. Four years to come and win gold, not silver, man. Uh -huh. yeah, it doesn't mean anything. Man, she just walked off. You can see there was even a shot of her. She was like, she <laughs> shot this ghost. Uh, like, did I just produce this time? And silver. now, since those guys are not around, those other ladies, she just 
you know, no power to... 22.13 <laughs> seconds. Wow. Since, no thumbs in, she mm. just had to do that. Mm. But I think maybe thumbs in, you have to give it to her because I'm thinking she just came from nowhere. I mean, yeah. I know, during the Diamond <laughs> League nowhere. meets, I mean, she was, when I mean, I'm talking about Olympics right yeah, now, yeah. talking about Olympics and all, all those other meets and all, the focus wasn't on her. It was on Shelly and Fraser Price, Ellen Thompson and some other big stars and yeah. even Blessing Okagre. But somehow, somehow, 100 meters, 200 meters. Yeah, but she's, but, but but then she's, she's good. Using <laughs> fast. That's <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, she she announced time. herself to the world. She won those before the Olympics. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. At the Jamaica National Trial. She, she cleared it She cleared it up and she set a national record. Yes. You know, and then that was enough worry for um, Shelly and Fraser Price. Mm -hmm. like, look, this, this girl is coming up. And she mm -hmm. did it in, in, at the Real Olympics slide. to confirm her status. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, she confirmed her status. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, uh, so it's left for Shelly and Fraser Price now to, uh, to fight back. You know, credit to her. You she know, want she, to do that. She, she kept, They're from the same country. Yeah, I mean, but she she's a very, she's a competitor as well. So she wants to win. Of course. It's not the end of her career. She's Best in her career. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So she's going to fight back. This year has been inj a lot of injury mm -hmm. injuries uh, for a while. So uh, I'm looking forward to that rivalry uh, because as, as it is right now in the 100 meters, it appears it's just um, Elaine Thompson and um, Shelly and Fraser Price and yeah, maybe Skippers, but um, Skippers is no, more suited to, to, mm -hmm. uh, to the 200 meters. Yeah, meters. Uh, yeah, so meters. Okay, it will so be exciting next very, year at the World um, Championships. I can't wait. It's yeah. really very exciting. Let's go over to our new studio now. Neil Taibe is standing by uh, to take a look at all that is going down in your world of 